Hey guys, it's Sarah. Um, as you can see over here, I'm doing a little shakedown of some of my camping gear. Um, I just wanted to show you something. Um, I found this little thing at uh, Bass Pro Shop. I've been looking online for a little camping stove because right now um, we've got a little fire ban on the backcountry fire, so you got to cook your food on the stove. And I've been looking for one of these things. There's one that I was considering called the um, MSR uh, Pocket Rocket. And it's like a, a little stove, probably about that big. And um, it hooks on to a canister and um, it's really light. It's, it's especially made for backpacking. Um, and then I found this jet boil thing, but all the jet boils were like um, almost $100 or over. Um, but I found this one called the Jet Boil Zip. I don't know if you can see it very well. Um, it's got a little lid on it, and basically, it's a stove and a can. Um, it everything that you need to cook food on is in this little thing right here. Um, and they call it a jet boil because, especially if you're backcountry camping, um, you can boil water in I think a minute on this. And the reason I picked this one over the MSR uh, pocket rocket because as you can see down here, there's like a a little thing to protect your flame on, um, and the pocket rocket didn't have that. So if like you're on a mountain or something, then you've got a little bit of a protection so your flame won't go out. But anyway, um, so you open this thing up really quick. This is the stove part of it when you're cooking other things and don't have this thing on it. Um, and it flexible and whatever. This is a little canister that it comes in. Um, this one is actually 3.53 uh, ounces, so it, it weighs next to nothing. I don't know yet how long um, this one lasts. It's a, it's a smaller one. Um, I just got this for trial purposes here. Um, and this little cap comes off. Um, then there's your little stove right here, and it's got a little stand that comes with it. And this pops out like this. And as you can see, these little ridges right here, um, they they make two versions of these canisters. Uh, this version, and then and a little bit bigger version. And um, these little ridges right here are made for each one of those. You just like snap the little can, oops, um, snap the little can on like so and it doesn't move. And then I'm not going to actually screw this on because I don't want to waste uh, gas. So I'm just going to put it on top like this. You can see it. Let's see if I can just just a little bit. Um, so you've got, this is, this is all it is. Uh, this is kind of wobbly because, like I said, I'm not screwing it on because I don't want the gas to start. Um, here's a little where the flame comes out. And then you set this sucker on top of here. And as you can see, it's a lot of protection for a flame. And this can um, is actually got rubber around it. So if you pick it up off the burner, you don't burn yourself, which I really liked because... I was going to use a pocket rocket one and then buy, you have to buy a steel can with uh, steel handles and with my luck I burn myself all the time on stupid crap like that. Um, and it's, it shows you, it's got a, I don't think you can see it on here, but there's like a little measuring system in here and it shows you how many liters you can boil. And um, like I said, this one's a zip one, it's not the full one. Um, this was about $80. I think the full one is blue. And um, I'm trying to see. This is a 500 milliliters, so 16 ounces. And the other one is twice that much. And I think it's like a little, like a hundred dollars maybe, or something. I don't know. But I don't. Me being single and um, always going by myself, I don't need something that big. Uh, so anyway, you can do that. You can stick this thing on here um, and boil your water or soup or whatever you have. And then um, if you want to put like a little pan on it, 
you can use this thing and this and in order to put this on you actually have to um, take these little clamps and pull them outward because I tried for about 15 minutes to try to fit it on here and didn't realize that these had to pull out so if you're setting this up make sure that these little clamps on the side come all the way out before you try to put it on top of the stove and then um, their little uh, little cuts in here that fit on the side of it to keep it from moving like so and then you got yourself a little stove you can sit things on this is plastic you can't obviously use that but you can see how it works um, and that is the jet boil zip it's pretty nifty haven't tried it yet I'm gonna go this weekend um, and try it like I said there's a uh, fire bands, backwood, backcountry fire bands, so you, I was kind of forced to buy a stove. Um, but this is a good little thing, and um, I got it at Bass Pro Shop for, I think, $80. You can get it online. I would highly suggest, if you're interested in backcountry camping, going to um, backcountry.com. Um, I bought a tent over there, um, and they have, like, when you go on the website, they have people that help you um, that you can chat with and don't try to sell you anything which is really good they just try to um, you know help you and find something because they have so many products and it can take hours to go through if you're looking for just one thing um, and they can help you find a ton of different gear I'm going to do a little video tutorial um, on uh, on what I pack um, I've, the more you go back country camping I think the more experience you get obviously um, my first time backcountry camping I packed a 20 pound tent and the rest of my necessities and it ended up making a 70 pound pack and I just about died um, on the trail uh, this goes in here first um, so like I said you can all of this stuff uh, fits in this little can here you just stick this orange thing in here first like like this and um, then this goes upside down in here fits really nicely and then you stick the canister in here this um, is important to know that this is actually sold separately um, you have to buy the canister um, separate from the little jet boil pack and these are like maybe four or five bucks and then the next size up is like a dollar more um, but like I said, you know, me being single and I just camp with me and my dog. Um, I mean, I go with friends, but I'm the only person that uses my gear. So I don't really need um, something real big unless I'm going on like a two-week hike or whatever like that. And then um, you just fold these little prongs back in so it fits. And then you stick this upside down. And the, uh, sorry this upside down in a little canister and it fits in like that and you just stick the lid on it and you've got your stove and it weighs probably I don't know a pound or so it's not it's not heavy at all and it's got little things you can stick your uh, eating utensils or little spatulas or whatever you can in here and like I said this is a velcro or not a velcro but like a cloth handle so you don't burn yourself um, and this is the jet boil zip zip for the um, miniature size of the regular jet boil that's probably this much taller but anyway stay tuned if you're interested um, in you know what to pack for backcountry camping and stuff uh, I'm gonna keep doing little tutorials on here I've had a lot of people ask me um, what I can't 